Hey guys, we are on video number nine. Beatitude number six, I almost forgot, um, but I didn't. Mm. So anyway, um, I just wanted to uh, to say that this is probably my favorite, or at least the Beatitude that's most dear to me. Um, it's blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now what does that mean? See God is really is is to have living understanding of who he is to experience and to know him to to understand his character. I'm not just talking like theological no, I'm talking like no, like heart a burning heart know him. Because lots of times you I mean, and I've been there, I can say it out of experience, where you, you can have all the, the head knowledge in the world, but your heart is cold towards him. And it's only by his grace and by his experience and by purity that we see God. And that's the, the, that's the issue that Jesus presents. He's like, if you want to see God, there's no other way you're going to be able to do that. If you want to experience him, if you want to know him, if you want to have a burning heart of love for Jesus, if you want to be fascinated with Jesus above all else, there's n you can't do it apart from purity. There's no way. The author of Hebrews says a very similar thing. He says, without holiness, no one can see God. So our ability to experience God is directly related to the purity we walk out in our lives. Now, lots of people relate purity to sexual purity, which that has to do with that, but not in its fullness. There's more. There's a whole lot more to purity than sexual purity, and uh, and I I, don't know, I just want to put that out there because lots of times when they when they people say that they think oh just that which that's extremely important. We wanna. Be like Job and, and make a covenant with our eyes not to look lustfully on a woman. We want to, you know, as, as Jesus says on the Sermon on the Mount later, um, he, he says if you even look at a woman, it's adultery in your heart. So that, those things do defile us, but that's not in and of itself. Purity has to do with our morals, our motives, and our methods in everything we do. If we do good we could do we could do something good but what's our motives behind it because we can we can psych people out but we can't psych god out we can't psych out the holy spirit and when we really do those things and sh and shortcut things we really miss out and we might gain more favor or favor we might gain more stuff on this earth but we could really be so we could physically get more stuff but we could spiritually be missing out on seeing God, on experiencing God. So, how do we walk this out? We can't. <laughs> we can't. Not in the perfect sense. Except by His grace. By His grace alone. And I'm not saying be casual. I'm saying when you fall short... We do everything we can not to fall short, but when we do, we fall into his grace, we fall into his loving arms. So this righteous man falls down seven times, but he gets back up. Know that God is cheering you on more than anyone. He's more on your side than anyone. He's saying, get back up. Sign back up. Sign back up again. Sign back up again. Sign back up again. Do not give up. Do not quit. Do not we go grow weary in doing good. I just want to say that if you do not give up, you will obtain it. Um, David, he, he, he had some shortcomings in, in the area of purity, but he had a repentant heart. And what does it say about him in, in the book of Acts? It says he's a man who had fulfilled the entire will of God. Now you'd look back at David's life and say, "Well, how is that possible? He messed up with Bathsheba. You know, he did. He had. It's not just Bathsheba. He made a lot of mistakes in his life. But it says that he fulfilled the entire will. Now, how is that? Because he knew 
how to fall into the mercy of God and to trust in the Father who accepts him and delivers him because he delights in him. So I hope you all get that. Um, I want to bless you guys. I pray in Jesus' name that he would give you grace to be pure, a hunger and thirst to be pure and to see him. We want to be fascinated with Jesus above anything else. So I ask grace to burn in Jesus' name. All right. Love you guys. Bye.